What's up everybody, Jose Ortiz here from PetRockMedia.com and today we're going to go over a few pickups that my wife and I came across as we went on one of our trips throughout the hill country at a nice little spot that's in New Braunfels, Texas called The D-Pad. We picked up some great, great items and we're about to go over them right now. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so if you're new to the channel and you'd like information on gaming, technology, cinema, lifestyle, and so forth, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell icon so you're notified each and every time we post a video or go live on this channel. Now if you follow this channel regularly, you'll know that my wife and I love to travel throughout our state of Texas and we love to stop at little mom and pop shops for video game collecting. Now I've done a video in the past on tips and tricks on how to collect video games. I'll leave that in the description below. Check that video out. It has great information if you're trying to get into video game collecting or if you already collect and you just want some tips and tricks. So this past weekend we made an impromptu trip up north heading to San Marcos, Texas. And on the way over there, we stopped at a little shop called The D-Pad, which is located in New Braunfels, Texas. Now, one of the reasons why we stopped by is because I was notified on Facebook of a certain item that came in via trade that same day. And it really, really piqued my interest because, as you know, I'm trying to collect all different types of systems, specifically Nintendo. And for those of you who have never collected, you'll know that Nintendo is very, very expensive to collect for. So a certain item was posted that was received via trade and I absolutely wanted to stop by and check it out. So upon stopping by, I checked it out, inspected it, had a few scuffs, a few scratches, but again, this item is well over 20 years old and it's something that I had at one point and unfortunately had to let go. So the fact that I was able to come across it again really, really meant a lot to me. Now, I was hoping to get a little bit better of a deal. However, on eBay, what I'm looking at ranges from about $95 almost to $115 in almost pristine condition. Now again, this item is not in pristine condition, but I would say it's about a B plus, A minus on a scale of F to A plus. So the item in question is a Game Boy Pocket, a Game Boy Advanced SP as commonly known as well. However, it is the Nintendo themed Game Boy. Now this thing is awesome and it's also very very tiny for size comparison here is my iphone 10x and here is the game boy right next to it so size wise it's almost as wide as my phone now thickness obviously it's going to be thicker but it's super super compact as I mentioned, these things on eBay go for upwards of $100, upwards to $120, $150, depending on how pristine they are. Now again, this thing looks almost flawless on the controller deck, the buttons, the back. Has a few scuffs right here in the front, you can kind of see. But other than that, this thing, like I said, B plus, A minus, as far as cosmetics are concerned. Now the cool thing is that they did give me an original power plug there's the old school looking power plug almost looks like a firewire port and while i was there i'm looking to collect every single rendition or edition of tony hawk tony hawk's pro skater was a huge huge game that i played growing up uh, as i got into my later years in high school and so what better way to celebrate the purchase of a new game boy advance than to get some tony hawk pro skater games so i picked up tony hawk's pro skater 2 tony hawk's pro skater 3 and, you guessed it, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Now, these games, and one of the reasons why I love, love, love this place, is that they sell games for relatively the same amount that you would get on eBay. They don't overcharge you, they don't try to price gouge you, they're very, very competitive, and they very, very, very like to work with their customers. And what I mean by that is, if you're able to present them a great deal, they will price haggle with you. So I'm gonna leave a link to their Facebook down below. If you are in the state of Texas or in South Texas, I highly, highly recommend stopping by the D-pad located in New Braunfels, Texas on San Antonio Boulevard. Now each one of these games retailed for $2.99. So I was able to get all three, since I was purchasing all three, I got all three for six bucks. So it was almost like buy two, get one free. That along with the system. Now the system, again, as much as I mentioned it retails for, I was able to snag this thing for $80. Now $80 is a lot of money, but there is a huge nostalgia factor to it. There's a huge personal gain to it. And even though I do mention in my video to not really have a lot of emotion attached to it, 
this one just had way too much emotional attachment to it to not pass up, especially the great condition that this thing is in. I mean, you can see almost no scratches at all, just a little bit of dust. The screen is amazing. I bought this little plastic uh, case to go along with it on Amazon. The moment I bought it, I went on Amazon. It was like 10 o'clock at night on Saturday. Purchased this plastic cover and it came in Sunday about two o'clock in the afternoon and I slapped it right on. I'm a huge fan of these clear plastic cases. I know a lot of people are not because they scratch a lot, but I'm not gonna be throwing this in a bag. I'm gonna display it and then if I wanna play it, I'll have a little case on it so I won't worry about it getting scratched. But that about wraps it up, guys. I just wanted to show you a kind of first impressions, if you will, of this amazing, amazing Game Boy Advance. They call them Game Boy Pockets, Game Boy Advance Pockets. Love, love, love the portability of this thing. It is in color. Of course, Game Boy Advance games are in color. And just, I mean, this is an amazing, amazing pickup, in my opinion. And I love how it looks like an old Nintendo. You'll see the color scheme, light gray, dark gray, and so forth. And then you'll see the buttons on here for... A and B and the same color scheme as a controller. But again, if you are new to the channel and you enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell icon, giving me a thumbs up. If you do not like this video, please be sure you give me two thumbs down, hit that thumbs down button twice. Once again, guys, this is Jose Ortiz from PetRockMedia.com, signing out, peace.